The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and without any difficulties. But be on your guard as the wind can lead to Bordeaux. We can target a top five place, and maybe even better if the stage favorites are caught out by the wind. Have a good stage, guys. Go, go. Hello and welcome back to some more Tour de France. This is part five of our playthrough. Today we've got the fifth stage. It's going to be uh, hopefully a lot better than last time out. It's a pretty flat stage, the favourites. Um, you know, it, it should be a bunch finish according to that. Uh, there is a chance of borders, though, so we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled for that. But obviously two sprints today uh, where we're looking to get Mark Cavendish involved. We've got uh, the feed station straight after the first sprint, so we can really exert ourselves for that, that first sprint. Only two uh, classified climbs today. It would be great if we could get Mohoric those uh, points there, but you know it's not not the end of the world if not. But uh, try and play it safe today. So hopefully you guys are good and are enjoying the series so far. Can't wait to see how we get on in this uh, episode. I think uh, I, th I think we could do some damage. It would be good um, if we can get Lander back on track but there will be more opportunities so hopefully it works out well let's have a look at the objectives for a day um, retain the lead of the points uh, finish in the top ten with Cabrelli uh, retain the lead of the mountains and uh, nothing else so I think it was looking pretty well today Landers looking alright um, I'm thinking about breakaways might go with Puels today in the breakaway. He's looking pretty strong, um, but then again, he, you know, he's probably better for the mountains, isn't he? So, who's who's low risk? Let's have a little look at the classification. So he's seventy first in the general, which I think is other than Cavendish, um, the worst. So let's go with with turns. He finished seventh last time, actually. Hello, so he did pretty well. The road followed by the riders today leaves little doubt about the scenario that will unfold. In the absence of any major difficulty, the sprinters' teams will chase down the Baradeurs, who in turn will try to hold them off for as long as possible in order to hope for a win. Okay, so let's get ourselves away. Obviously, not much happening early on here, um, but we'd quite like to, to get a nice early breakaway going with uh, turns here. He's a good little rider, I think. Um, but we need to get him a bit better placed if we aren't going to do anything. So. I think we the stage isn't difficult. want to push a Everyone's little bit. talking about a bunched finish, guys. Watch out, though. The short climb, 10 kilometers from the finish, could shake up the peloton. Be alert to the wind as well. It's unlikely, but it could confuse things. I'm going to use my energy up the hill. Watch out. You're not going to be able to attack for much longer. And we've got the downhill stretch in a little bit, so we've actually got 50 seconds on the peloton. We're going on our own at the moment, though. You're off on your own, but given the profile, it's mission impossible. I hope you get reinforcements. Nobody seems to want to want to come out, which is a shame. I thought there would at least be a breakaway today. You're ahead of the peloton. It's looking good. But surely, with the wind, this is going to be. A terrible idea. The break still isn't done. They're stepping ah, here we go. the front of the peloton. So a couple of people are coming to come to find us, hopefully. Simon and uh, his team is full frontal. They have no one at the excursions. front. Excursions. So you know, we'll stay out here. We'll stay chilling. <laughs> going to use our energy pretty quickly though very comfortable on hilly routes with well. steep inclines Dylan Toynes is now one Toynes. of the riders to be reckoned with in the Ardennes classics 
So Toynes finally managed to get his name right. Toynes. There you go. It only took five episodes. Hey, look He's at him getting a selfie with us. For the I'm looking for the moment where we start going downhill. But, I mean, Simon and uh, Koa aren't too, aren't too far behind, so I think wait for the following group and uh, we'll see how things go and I'll, I'll you catch you guys at that first sprint. Team, it makes sense to stick with a breakaway in order to favour a mass sprint and vie for the stage win. Unless, of course, a rider from the team is present in the breakaway. Well, we're 3.5 kilometres away here from this intermediate sprint. Um, They're riding hard behind. Possible eight points the in the peloton. So, just need to keep ourselves well well placed here. We know we're getting feed after this, so. It's not a massive disadvantage to go on for this. So I'll try and get the 20 points with uh, Toynes here. And uh, hopefully switch our attention to Mark Cavendish pretty soon after. There we go. Simon's gone for it. But I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. Yeah. You've won the intermediate sprint. Nice. Well done. Nice. So let's uh, switch our attention now to Cavendish. Whoops. So hopefully he's pretty well placed. He's 30th at the moment, so need to get him. That's good enough, lads. Better There's placed. no way we can lose the green jersey today. Well, that's awesome. It's good. Need to go for it a bit more. They're no doubt readying the intermediate. There's no way we're gonna get any more points than that just two points but that'll do that'll do nicely so we'll stick with those guys and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get the Pelton back together his teammates have positioned themselves the third class the climb planet. they will no doubt manage the gap so as to finish in a sprint kilometers from the top so two kilometers from the top of this third class climb take a bit of blue feed and we'll get ourselves nicely placed we want to try and get both of these points for Mahorich help You're him out a bit doing your share of the work and so the others no longer want to ride anyway we're into the final kilometers we can forget any ideas of cooperation Right. Probably gone a bit early here, to be honest with you. But we're nearly there. Although Barbaro's going to beat us to the line. Yeah, we didn't Watch get out. anything there. You're That's a shame. Be able to attack for much longer. Yeah, they just went a bit early. It was bait, really, wasn't it? We've got enough of a points lead for the polka dot jersey. There's no way we can lose it today. Keep it up. Well, that's good. So at least we're we're not going to lose the the polka dot jersey. That's exactly what we wanted to to avoid. Um, you can see Caruso struggling a little bit. Um, we'll actually take some feed on board with him, I think. Watch out! You're not going to be able to keep up this pace for very long. You risk a blow up. There's Mahorich there, and hopefully that's Lander, uh, right at the front there, not quite, he's down in 43rd, so we'll have to keep an eye on that and keep him well placed, because I'd quite like to win the stage with him, even though it is a sprint finish. Yeah, tough decisions have to be made, but I'll see you, uh, I suppose, at the windy section. Well, coming up to the, the potential borders... Um, we're trying to stick to the wheels in front. It is starting to break up a little bit, this breakaway. There is uh, Scoogins up ahead. Well, I don't know why he's going so slow. I guess they're just trying to 
mess mess me up a little bit. But well, maybe they're they're just struggling as much as we are for energy. We are struggling for for blue energy. We're coming to an exposed zone, lad. But there's no worry. Contrary to what we said in the briefing, there's no wind. No risk of borders. Okay, so no wind. That's actually really good news. That that means this breakaway could be pretty spot the gap on. Is decreasing, guys. The peloton should be there for the stage win. Yeah, we've only got a minute twenty gap. It's so whether we just tell Toynes to to get back into the peloton now. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna do exactly that and tell them to to wait for the next next group. So we're gonna let Barbaro go. I'm gonna tell him to wait for the following group and. Uh, I just applaud him really on his hard work today. Caruso again struggling. Um, what do I want him to do? I guess I want to turn down his tempo a little bit. Let's head for seventy percent. I'll relay. There Last go, time check with a breakaway. Well, oh, he's he's gonna blow up if he's not careful. I'll see you guys uh, when we come to the, the sprint finish, I suppose. Just well, we're five kilometres from the end. I've got a bit of a decision to make, really, with who we who we go with. I, I, I think Cavendish is probably the man, uh, to be honest with you. He's in 19th at the moment. Get ready to sprint. We must win to secure the green jersey. Could do with with winning it. There's 50 points at the end. 3.7 kilometers to go. Right, we should start telling people to pick up the pace a little. Oh, not attack. Um, I guess. Hmm. Follow attacks. But maybe not actually. I don't know. I don't know what to tell. Lander to do. Persist smoothly. Everybody, prepare for the sprint. That sounds good to me. Okay, I'll consume a feed. I'm gonna give him Any a bit three of kilometers red left for the peloton. Everything will come down to the sprint. It's gonna be nerve wracking. There's Lander. So Lander's up here. Which is awesome. We can put a bit of pace in, get ourselves well placed here with Cavendish. It is a one kilometre line. Idea. Right. What we're going to do, I suppose, tell them to take their red gel. We might as well. I think 1.3 kilometers to go. Follow attacks, follow attacks. Who else has got decent energy? Mahora Chaz as well. The rest will probably die. Be too to many be in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. Right, here goes Cavendish. I don't think he's quite got enough. Go, go. One kilometer. But we're trying. We're trying. I think Cavendish has got it. Well done. Where did Lander finish? I think Lander finished pretty high up. Caruso um, is four minutes behind. Goodness me. Well, they'll all finish. I don't know where the yellow jersey man finished. Could be pretty crucial, though. Uh, the last man, M. Woods, coming to the, to the finish there. But Cavendish, 50 points. Another stage win for him. That's excellent. We did just have enough in the end. That well, was pretty good. Don't know where the yellow jersey man finished. Because that could be crucial. Because Lander pre finished pretty high. So let's have a little look. He succeeded in avoiding all the big balls to win today. Here is the winner of the Gap of Stage. Mark Cavendish! So 
And there you go, Mark Cavendish wins the stage once again. Second stage win of the tour. Congratulations to him for this high-flying performance. And still Alifix, or Alifilax, I can't remember his name now. Alifilix, he's uh, leading the way still with the yellow jersey. Obviously Cavendish, big, big day for him today. Mohoric uh, has the best climber, and that is awesome. Let's see uh, what we end up with here. But the stage win obviously really does help. Congratulations to you. I hoped that we'd play a leading role, but from that to win this stage, you have put in a superb performance. Well done for this win. We retain the green jersey. Well done, guys. Well, I'll tell you what, there's Ala Felix there. Third place today. That's very impressive. And uh, Lander actually finished 20th in the end. It was uh, Cabrelli that finished in the top eight which is which is good and uh, Mahoric finished 26 Bilbao 27th Puel's 29th that's that's really really excellent um so let's uh continue on so you can see Lander still fifth in the Tour de France uh I, I tell you what Al Felix is looking very very good I just worry that he's maybe overexerted himself too early in in this tour uh, Mahoric is still two points clear of Wellens uh, at the top of the polka dot jersey. Uh, Cavendish is now nearly a hundred. Wait, it's actually 105 points ahead of uh, Gronavagen at the top of the green jersey standings, which is awesome. Uh, the white jersey doesn't interest us. The team uh, jersey, well, look at that. Two uh, seconds behind still of Team Ineos. Sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Um, and there you go, combativity classification. Uh, Toynes and Mahoric are the, uh, the the guys that are possibly in with a shout there. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for uh, a full walkthrough of Tour de France. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.